Hello Cancer, this is your past, present, and future love reading. So we're going to look at the energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Cancer and see what is actually going to happen. So let's take a look. Welcome everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. So your energy in the recent past is the world card. So you've made some really big decisions about the direction of your life, where you're going to go, what you're going to do, and you're coming off of a period of time in your life where you know, you really are over something. You're really over a cycle of, um, you know, having to make decisions. We have the judgment card that popped out. So for a lot of you, you are making a final decision about someone or something in your life and you're releasing it. You're just releasing the old expectations, the old wounds. You know, it's a, it's a very, it's the end of a karmic cycle. And it's beautiful because you have the guardian angel, Gabriel, really there blowing the trumpet, saying that you've done the right thing. So look at this Knight of Cups energy. We have romance coming in. Maybe a Pisces in the recent past has contacted you. But really gorgeous, okay. Currently, temperance reconciliation is what the temperance card means. It really speaks to the fact that somebody wants to come in and be very balanced with you, bring a lot to the table, a dove of peace. After, I think, trials and tribulations, King of Swords energy says that Cancer, you are very much in the energy of making a decision based on facts, based on the truth, based on that which must be proven to be real. You are not going to take anyone's word for anything right now. You're going to, it's sort of like that old TV show where the detective says to the woman, just the facts, just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. And that's how you're dealing with this. You are going to be very matter of fact. Eight of Pentacles energy speaks to you really working alongside a partner to make this beautiful relationship come to fruition. That's your current energy, your past energy. Let's look at the future. Hierophant, <laughs> Hierophant energy, traditional love relationship could include marriage, often includes marriage. It is Taurus energy, and that is all about creating stability, creating a belief system and operations. You know, we get, we have our different operating systems for our computers. Well, the operating system you want for your love life is the Hierophant card. You want it totally understood that the traditional expectations about a relationship are our requirement and it comes to manifestation two of wands you're going to have to make a choice to get you there the two of wands energy you might have two options you might have two people that want to marry you you know i've seen it happen a lot is that you meet somebody new you think things are going along with the king of cups and all of a sudden somebody comes back into your life it looks like it's it's go time and you have to make a choice between two people so that's what i'm seeing for you and look at this, the Queen of Swords energy. So you will make the right choice. A choice that is based on the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Look at this energy. You have one, two, three, four, five major arcanas out of nine cards. That is more than a 50% chance of getting exactly what you're seeking here. So, Cancer, let's go ahead and look at the Moonology deck and see what the overall energy is or the overall theme of what you need to look at as we clarify the cards. Let's see what Spirit wants us to look at. Cancer, Cancer, what is the theme? Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. So again, when we look at mutable, we're looking at Pisces energy. And this mutable here is this king of the knight of cups. The knight of cups energy is somebody who is still a knight. It's an offer in love, but it's not set in stone. And that's what I'm really seeing, that nothing has a conclusion. Right now, this energy that you're feeling in the recent past, going into the present, is just like working on things, keeping yourself calm trying to really level up, trying to really put your head, wrap your head around what it is that you truly need and want in a relationship. The world card, what does it mean in the recent past for our beautiful Cancerian friends? 
we have the nine of coins. So many of you are single and ready to mingle and looking good and highly attractive and you've been to the gym and your bank account's improved, you're saving money and everybody wants cancer. Well, that sounded weird, didn't it? And I do mean cancer the sun sign or moon rising or Venus. Okay, so we have the nine of wands. So it does look as though you've been carrying a heavy burden. You've had fire in your stomach for somebody. It's burning brightly. The phoenix is rising from the ashes. You know, we get that very scorpionic energy here with the nine of wands and it's Sagittarian energy. However, we do see the phoenix, so it has an overlay of Scorpio. So it looks as though if you don't get the right answer that you want from somebody, you are not going to choose them. The nine of swords is clarifying the knight of cups. So you really feel as though somebody in the past was romantic but flaky. And it really does worry you. You think to yourself, you know, here I am. I brought all of this to the table. I had fire in my belly for the relationship. And your feeling is, is that, you know, at the end of the day, you're just left with all up in your head about it. Like, what was that about? We get the world card. Oh, the world card is clarifying the world card with your sense of sovereignty. You are in your power, Cancer. Right now, you are in your power. And you are willing to step into the next phase of life, you know, doubled. And the Knight of Cups energy, oh my God, that's so crazy. Double worlds, double Knight of Cups. Okay, so what do we need to know about this Knight of Cups energy that has you all in your head? I'm going to go right down here and clarify this. Okay, what is, why did the Knight of Cups show up twice? Eight of Wands, passion. Okay, so somebody comes back that was flaky. Somebody who was flaky with you comes back into your life for the passion, for the fiery, fiery, beautiful Knights of Passion. Again, Temperance card. Oh my gosh, it just fell out of the deck too. Temperance card, okay. And the Eight of Coins. So somebody's really ready to work on your relationship with you presently. But this is a crazy energy because the Eight of Wands is clarifying this Knight of Cups. What's motivating the Knight of Cups is Pisces energy to come back around is that you really, they're seeing you standing in your power they see you ready to close the door with finality if they do not make a move soon. So that's very good news. And that Eight of Wands is rushing in with passionate desire. Um, that's a Nine of Wands. This person has fire in their belly for the relationship. So we do see the energy of reconciliation, working on the relationship with that beautiful, beautiful temperance twice. I love it when I get double cards like this. And it's major arcana. It really is finding the beautiful harmony, the balance, and working on getting to know how to make that work. The Empress energy, look at you, Cancer. Taurus energy, you are really leveling up. You make the right choice because you are using your head. You are being very enlightened in your decision making. You're requiring that people, you know, that anybody that's going to be with you really level up to this Empress energy. Look at this. We have the Eight of Coins twice now, okay? We have two Knights of Cups, two World Cards, two Eight of Coins. So, again, really amplifying and amping up the energy of success, doing it right, doing it well, and building for the future. The Moon card is reversed. Nice energy. Everything that was hidden is now out in the open. And that could be happening now or, you know, the future can be tomorrow. But what we're seeing for you, Cancer, is this Pisces energy opens up and tells you everything you need to know, everything that was going on. Ah, oh, the high priestess, and you knew it intuitively. You absolutely knew it intuitively. So really fascinating energy. It really speaks. And, you know, you... Cancer really is the, the um, and this is Cancer energy. There you are in your reading with the High Priestess energy. So Cancer, it really, you know, you really do know what's going on. Even the Queen of Cups is very psychic. She is the psychic of all the queens. So why do we have the Hierophant card for our Cancer friends? 
Knight of Pentacles, somebody who's never been married is walking slowly towards you. I believe it's the Knight of Cups has changed horses. <laughs> he's gone from this horse to the this horse, so he's much more serious. The white horse is more playful, you know, it's like daytime energy. It's like, let's go play tennis. But the nighttime horse is there to spend the night forever in this embrace of love with the Hierophant energy. So why else do we have the Knight of Pentacles energy here? The Sun card, oh, the happiest card in the deck. That is Leo energy. It speaks to laughter and joy and the fact that the two of you are like two kids at the carnival on a sunny day in the summer. It really speaks beautifully to your ability to, to stay in the relationship and stay really focused on each other. Why is the Two of Wands here? What will you be asked to decide? Oh, well, look at this. Now look at it again. Judgment card here, judgment card there. And so now when we look across, you have fire in your belly to make the right choice, to do it using your intellect, to empress up your energy, and that is what is going to happen. Really beautiful. Really speaks to the fact that you have been through your dark night of the soul. You are definitely out of that at this time. But you are creating with this Empress energy all of this new opportunity. Three of Cups, that is a card of celebration, reunion, happiness. After a long time of the two of you being apart and lonely, Queen of Wands energy, again, the Aries Queen energy, um, really speaks to the fact that you are going to take action. I don't think that you've been in contact yet with that little Hermit card there. It looks as though moving into the future. Tell us about why the Hermit card is here for this beautiful reunion. Strength card, Leo energy. Okay, so now we have the Hermit is giving way to the Strength card. That you're really thinking about how strong your bond is, how, how it is the person that you want. You've already determined that this is a person you want. And you're willing to work through the problems to get there cancer look at you six of coins equal give and take again beautiful energy for you cancer just gorgeous so let's go ahead and look and see what the shaman's dream oracle has for your advice before we close out the reading and i just want to thank everyone i feel so honored that you are joining me here on my channel to watch my videos thank you so so much we have stars in the sky, limitless possibility. And when we look at this card, you know, it's sort of like the starry night. Look at that. You have limitless possibilities in terms of, you know, bringing this relationship together in a beautiful way. This is one magician sword. Confidence in your magic, Cancer. I'm going to end it there on that note. Have a beautiful week, Cancer. Bye-bye.